Psychopaths can be understood as the series author Gen Urobuchi's conversation and personal reservations about Japan's fascist history and its merits. Urobuchi created the civil system as an allegory for Emperor Hirohito's claim to power and the exertion of his influence over his subjects through indoctrination and fear. The main protagonist, Inspector Akane Tsunomori, reflects upon the impact of Sybil's control during the final episodes of Season 1. Once Akane reaches Sybil's core, Sybil asserts that Akane cannot deny the Sybil system's significance and necessity, and that Akane believes in Sybil's necessity rather than its justifiability. After her final mission, Akane responds to Sybil's analysis. Do you know the most demeaning thing you can do to the law which should be sacred? Creating and administering a law that is unworthy of protection. You shouldn't underestimate humans. We are always searching for a better society. Someone will come to this room someday to turn off the power. Urobuchi has Akane note that the civil system does indeed bring about an aggregate improvement to older human society. However, Urobuchi does not agree with how Sybil has achieved this advancement, believing free will is a better alternative. In an interview with Annie Culture Net, Urobuchi responds, If I have to choose, I would probably be running along with Makashima Shogo. As expected of my personality, I wouldn't be able to tolerate abiding the laws of the civil system and probably be captured right away. Though it may lead to more crime and a less certain future, Urobuchi ultimately sides against both the civil system and its allegorical anchor, Imperial Japan, choosing free will over control. Once aware of these themes and questions present in Psychopaths, one can readily identify the similarities and accompanying criticisms that anime highlights while functioning as a new addition to the debate surrounding Japan's fascist past and what lessons to learn from that recent era.